Hi guys, this week we are reviewing Godzilla, the 2014 version. And uh, let's start with, let's start. This film, personally, I believe is to be one of the worst films, only to do with its storyline. Um, the main reason to do with this is because there's too many cliches. And I notice a lot of cliches in films. But, like, everywhere where the main character is, that's where the danger follows. It, it, it doesn't add up. I mean, there's what there's two, there's one bad, let's say two, there's two bad characters and they've got the whole world to be in. And yet, it follows this main character everywhere. What are the chances? So it's ridiculous. But, you know, it, yeah, I just don't like it that way. The main character is portrayed by Aaron Taylor Johnson, who's also been in Kick-Ass, another, oh, one of my favourite films, but also there's got it's got um, Brian Cranston, who's also been in Breaking Bad, who is Walter White, as many of you will know. But these characters are quite good. Um, their portrayals in it are very well done. However, the storyline—I hate the storyline. I know I'm going to go on about the storyline, but what can I say? It was terrible. But um, but Brian Cranston, he's uh, some scientist. Um, I'm for, well, I'm not going to spoil it for you, but yeah, they really portray the characters well. As I mentioned earlier, this film is full of cliches. I mean, like there's a scene where they're on a train. Uh, he's on a train in Hawaii, I think, or is it Japan? He's on a train in Hawaii, and the train stops and cuts out, and the monsters just behind them, like there. So. It just follows him everywhere. And then, also, this character can never die, it seems. He just he just survives anything. Like, they were escorting a train beforehand, and um, the train, the bridge collapses on top of them, basically. And the train narrowly avoids them. Narrowly, like, this guy could survive probably a bomb right next to him if, if that ever happened, but, you know, that, that's why I hate this film. But one good thing about the film, I'd say, is probably the special effects. Now, they're fantastic. I mean, you've got CGI and all that other stuff. I mean, the trailer really did hype it up for it as well. But for me, it was a bit of a letdown, unfortunately. I believe that this film could have been made a lot better just with this storyline, I'd say. Everything else was perfect, like the special effects, music, characters, they're all fine, it's just a storyline that's spoiled for me. Therefore I'm going to give this film 2 stars out of 5. I mean it's not a lot, but it's the storyline that spoiled it for me. So yeah, I am uh, hope you guys enjoyed this short review. Um, next week, um, if you put some comments down in the comment section down there, right there. Um, put some suggestions as to what film to review next. I'm always willing to take uh, suggestions. So yeah, just let me know. And I'll catch you guys next week. Bye!